All right, oh my God, dude, I'm so, my face is so close. That's not gonna work. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Tanner, and you're watching Smedia. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick install of the Dow Dynamic Smart Tap for the car. I already have Dow Dynamic C lights in the headlights and their tailless turn modules in the taillights. So this should accompany those very nicely. This was given to me by Mindy. I'll drop her IG right here. It's uh, her bag WRX. We shot with her earlier this week that white hatch that looked absolutely fantastic. So this is going to be a really quick install. All we need is a trim removal tool and a small Phillips head screwdriver to get the job done. So we're going to jump into it and get it knocked out real quick. All right guys, so this is gonna be a really easy install. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my access port off the mount here, it's just on a magnet. Unclip it and then set this aside. Uh, we're gonna pop this side trim cover off with your trim removal tool, very easy. Just stick it in there, pop right out. Told you. Next, we have a small Phillips head screw down here that we're gonna take out, you can kinda see it shining right there. So we're gonna pull that out real quick so we can take off this lower trim panel. that guy removed, go ahead and set it aside. Next, I'm gonna pull out my cup holder and my JDM coin holder dealio and set that aside as well because I don't want anything in here flying out. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull off this lower trim piece. You're gonna have a couple couple plugs back there that you're gonna need to undo, but you can just pull it off and set it aside. I'm gonna use the Phillips head to help me get some of those undone. There's a fly in my car, I'm not okay with this. With all those plugs undone, we're gonna go ahead and set our trim piece aside. So that way we have access to everything behind it. I'm gonna grab the camera and show you guys where the new module's at and I'm gonna set it back down so that way I can get mine out. When you're looking at your fuse panel and everything here, you see the small box right up here. This is gonna be your turn signal module. So you're gonna go ahead and unclip that and plug in the new smart top module. So we're gonna get that guy unplugged and then plug this guy in. With our old module out and our new one in, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this section. And that's the install. Very simple, so now let's play with programming it. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, it took me a minute to figure out what I was doing with this, but it's kinda nice. So if you hit lock, your welcome lights will come on, and I have mine set to 30 seconds, so they'll stay on for 30 seconds and then shut off. So as you can see, they're staying on. I'm not pushing anything with the key, which is kinda nice and then they'll shut off. Now we'll check out the crazy strobe feature, which I like. So as you saw, the welcome light shut off. So I'm gonna hit the hazard button and show you guys what it does. So with the hazard button hit, they strobe. Who knew? Technology. Blows my mind. So this is kinda neat. I like it. Um, it does it front, side mirrors do it, as well as the tail lights. All right, thanks for swinging by guys. I told you today would be a short one, but it was a cool install, I didn't like it. Uh, thanks for swinging by. If you like the content in the videos and you wanna keep seeing more of it, give me a like, give me a sub. We'll keep making videos just for you. We got content coming out. I got a lot of it lined up. So appreciate you guys swinging by and the time you spend here. Peace out.